Welcome back to Big Board. We're looking at the Great Battles of Magna Gratia. And this is a three-part mini campaign series and we're looking at the last battle, the uh, Battle of uh, Paestum, uh, or uh, I guess you could say Paestum as well, uh, 4332 BC. And there were fortunately some errata released because uh, as I read the setup locations for this game, let me just fix the glare for you chaps, you boys and girls. First of all, the first challenge we had was when the setup was done, come here, the setup was done, uh, the medium infantry were in front of the light infantry, which clearly didn't make much sense, and then the vanguard and main units were reversed here as well for the Samite uh, forces. But of more uh, concern was the exact location of where these two lines could or should be for the battle. The initial setup instructions had them setting up kind of weight they could send up set up anywhere over here and the actual reference numbers for the hexes were not available on the board on the board. So I'm glad we got that all cleared up, which means that uh the 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 Greeks or the uh, Epriot forces have a, uh, or a pirate forces have uh, a particularly interesting situation. Let's see if I can get a better shot without as much glare. I'll just come around this way and talk from this direction and point a little bit. Hopefully you'll be able to see. So these guys are pretty tough and I am going to set up a skew and, and, and come across this way. I'm not sure if that's particularly, I, I mean, no, it's not historical, number one, but I've got the freedom to set up where I want. And I'm wondering whether or not I should actually do this or scoot everything over a little bit, because it really is uh, a little bit wacky, because the two forces wouldn't have arrayed themselves necessarily like this. Uh, maybe the, the Samnites would have been set up uh, a little bit differently. So I'm just wondering about what the what the re reasonableness of having this sort of arrangement would be, given that the rules state that I can set up behind these lines. It doesn't say how far behind, uh, or any limits to that, or any limits to where the various units uh, can go. So this is what we're going to do. We're going to focus on bringing the entire left wing of the. Let me just see something here. The entire left wing over here, this entire left wing over here, up, and we're going to try and rush in and attack the medium and light infantry as quick as we can, and then uh, hopefully whatever's left will be able to beat up on the Samnite uh, kind of legionary style forces that are here, and uh, and recover, no, these guys better cover, recover some morale. I am using the SPQR rules, not the simple Great Battles of History rules. Uh, I'm making a few tweaks and adjustments, but nothing significant. And just, uh, just to, uh, in order to speed uh, combat along a little bit. But that's the situation, and we'll get this posted up, and we'll start playing. We'll see how we go. I, I'd be very curious to hear if anyone thinks this is, uh, you know, not an illegal setup, but probably uh, skewing things a little bit too much in the favor of the of the the yeah, pirate. Uh, chaps so i'm not sure whether i will do this or not maybe i should move the line across but hey we don't mind if history gets abused just a little bit do we of course not 